Finally got this monster done. Come on, get in the frame. Ugh. There it is. Did the double-ended gun belt. The uh, this is Canyon Tan, all brushed nickel hardware. Whole thing's hand saddle stitched. Uh, none of these holes were drilled. These were all punched. I got a little trick for that. This is two layers of uh, nine ounce and a third one on the belt here, so that's over a half an inch of leather on top. The stitching goes through all three of them. As much as this sucker weighs, I wanted it as strong as possible. And then it's riveted here, and there's two more under the loops. And then this was all scruffed up underneath, and this whole thing was glued. And then I did the buckles this way so the weight is here on this big pad and not digging into your side. It was kind of a brain fart. It worked out rather well. And then riveted all the stress points. I didn't put one here because I didn't want it scratching on the gun. But with this one and that one, it should be okay. And the stitching and it's glued. And this is double thick, the whole top piece. And then I'll... Uh, All done there. It uh, the thing is massive. Here's a full size 1911 in a holster if you want to get a comparison. Look at that. That is ridiculous. It just dwarfs it. I had to do the drop here to get it low enough that you could get the gun out because it's so long. If I would have put it up here, you'd hit yourself in the armpit before you got it out of the out of the holster. And I didn't want to have it carried Western style at an angle, because with that much weight, that just it just wouldn't work. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty sweet. Let me get that mare's leg out of there. Check that out. What a rig. Maybe I'll get a picture later of somebody wearing it. I think it uh, turned out pretty good. Got a little seam there in the stitching. It looks worse on camera than it does in person. But the, the belt's turned out pretty nice, I think. Pretty good. The, uh, yeah, it was a fun project. I think my next one's going to be for a uh, 500 Smith. We'll see how that goes. Had all the nice definition down here from all the you know bands and stuff on the end of the barrel, and it looked all nice and decorative. And then the top was so plain Jane. I did. I actually did the saddle ring and the trigger guard just to give it a little, little something. Well, I mean, yeah, I did the trigger guard, but the saddle ring I thought looked kind of neat. And then it's got this real high adjustable uh, rifle sight on it, so I had to block this up so you could get the get the gun out of it. It's stuck in the holster, but yeah, it uh, turned out really nice. Really nice. Come on, focus. Apple products cost enough. Come, the cameras suck. Uh, well, let me know what you think.